All right, we just got done picking up the GoPro Hero 12 Black Creator Edition from the store, and I am super excited to show you guys what this thing is capable of. So let's go home and dive into it and start with some awesome videos and tutorials. I am stoked to show you guys what this thing is capable of. All right, we just made it back to the house and we're going to crack this bad boy open and go over everything that is inside the box and just how easy it is to set up. And you will have to forgive me because I am just working on getting over a head cold. So if I sound a little bit funny or if I sniffle a little bit, um, it's because I've been sick. But just because I'm sick doesn't mean that I'm not going to pump out some videos um, on this GoPro 12 that just came out. Now, the GoPro 12 Creator Edition is made for the people looking to make frequent content and get the most out of their GoPro Hero 12. If you're looking to get the most out of your GoPro, then I think it is well worth the extra $200 for all of the accessories that come with it. Now, I did actually unbox this at my office, um, be like right after I got it, before I came back to the house because I was just way too excited about it. Um, so I opened it up in the office and I took some clips while I was doing that. Um, but we are here and I'm just gonna go through it again and kind of overlay some clips from the office um, and just walk you guys through it and show you what's inside here. So first thing first, we have the packaging that has a picture of the GoPro Creator Kit on the front of it. And on the back here, it has some of the key highlights and specs um, of the new GoPro Hero 12, as well as everything that's included in this box. As soon as you take this off, you can see that we have the carrying case with the handle, as well as the GoPro logo on top of it. Opening it up, the first thing that we have on the inside is all of the paperwork and instruction manuals. Normally, I would throw this aside, but don't do that yet. Because if you throw it away, you won't know that in this first round of GoPro 12s, you need to update the firmware. Since I got this GoPro brand new a few days ago when it released to the public, I'm guessing we have to update the firmware because it is still on the pre-production firmware that they gave to all of the creators that got early access to the GoPro. You can also see that we've got a piece of paper saying to subscribe to GoPro, which I did in fact do. Um, it's $25 for your first year and $50 after that, which considering the fact that you get unlimited cloud storage is amazing. That'll save me a ton of money on hard drives since I can upload the footage in full quality and download it again later to edit as long as I have an internet connection. But enough said, let's move these out of the way and start checking this thing out. After that, you can see that we have the main components underneath. You can see the GoPro itself with protective paper over the glass and lenses, as well as the Volta attachment, which is a Bluetooth trigger as well as a battery extension, getting you up to three times more battery life than just the GoPro Enduro battery that would be included in just the kit with the GoPro, not the GoPro 12 Creator Edition. And next, we have our media mod housing with a built-in enhanced microphone for better quality audio when vlogging and recording. We also have our light attachment with a protective cover, um, but I also think that it acts as a diffuser. And it's kind of crazy and amazing just how small this thing is and how bright it can go. I'm super excited to test it out and see if it's actually any good for helping record yourself uh, vlogging at night considering how small the sensor is on this GoPro. I also forgot to mention that the back of the media mod is where you plug in the Volta for extra battery life via the USB-C cable, but it also has the most important thing under that, which is the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, where you can plug in any other better microphones like my Rode VideoMic Pro, which might be a little bit overkill considering how huge it is. <laughs> then moving on, remove the top section of cardboard and underneath that you have all of your other accessories. You have your screws, two USB-C chargers, a wind muff, and two of the slide-in accessory mounts, one raised and one not, as well as a USB-C pass-through door for charging the GoPro while protecting it from the elements. It also has one curved adhesive mount, which I'm actually pretty disappointed about because from what I remember when I got my Hero 7, it came with two, um, a curved and a flat adhesive mount, as well as some of the extra stickies that go underneath them. So that does kind of suck that GoPro stopped including that. Um, I know you can buy them on the side, but what does it hurt to add one more? Come on, GoPro. And lastly, this little piece, 
Um, it took me a minute to figure out what it was, but I found out that it's a mount for the light that comes with your Creator Edition so that you can slide it in here and put it somewhere different if you don't want to light yourself from on top of the GoPro, um, say mounting it on a tripod next to you or on the opposite side, um, just somewhere off camera, which I actually think is really nice that they included that. Now that we have everything unboxed, let's start setting it up. First, let's grab our GoPro and put the included Enduro battery inside the GoPro. At this point, you should also insert your SD card that you have to purchase separately. I will say I am also a little bit bummed that for the Creator Edition, it doesn't even come with an SD card. I do have an Insta360 ONE RS, and that came with an SD card. Now, it wasn't 128 gigabytes like this one, but it was nice that they thought about that and included it still. Next, you'll need to take the battery door that's already open from inserting your battery and SD card completely off. That way, it works with your media mod. Next, you wanna take your media mod and open the door here and insert your GoPro so that the side without the door on it slides in where you can see the charging cable. Just close that right up. And I already did attach the wind muff to it, but that one is super easy to figure out. Um, you just take it and put it on the front and then make sure it clips down in the back. Next, you can take your included light and slide it either into the top hot shoe right here, or there is one on the side as well, but I recommend the top one. Next, you'll pull the attachment feet built into the bottom of the GoPro down and get ready to mount the GoPro Volta. It's just like any other GoPro accessory. Slide it in place and lock it down with a thumb screw. Followed by attaching that, make sure you're facing the back of the medium mod and the middle door, open that up and just plug in the Volta USB-C cord. Now we'll turn the camera on and start setting it up. For these next steps, select your desired language. Mine is English, of course. Next, you'll want to download the GoPro Quick app and launch it if you haven't already so that we can update the firmware. Just follow the instructions on screen and then you'll be set. Now that that's completed, your GoPro is all up to date and ready for you to set up your desired capture settings. Also, if you guys wanna see my recommended settings, leave another comment down below. And as soon as I've had enough time to play with the GoPro, I'll make another video telling you guys exactly what settings I would recommend for the best quality. Also, if you guys couldn't tell, we just switched over to the GoPro. How does the image quality look? And how does it sound with the media mod? If you guys liked this video, do me a solid. Leave me a comment, like, and subscribe so that you can see more content just like this on the new GoPro Hero 12 Black. I'm looking forward to showing you guys all about it. I ordered some accessories and have some other videos in the pipeline that you won't want to miss out on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.